Hi students, welcome to AutoCAD Electrical 2021. Now moving towards other options like uh, how I will select the wire number, wire or component. I want to select this option. I can manually change the wire number. I want to give an alphabet visible or hidden. If you want to hide this number, then it will be select. This will be uh, hidden. The number will not be shown. So work on the other properties and if you want to fix the wire number, you can select this. Uh, click OK and you can see that it is changed now. So manually we can add it our wire numbers in this way. Similarly, we can fix the wire number. If you want to fix the wire number, we can either fix the wire number from here or the we can fix the wire number by selecting the wire number, click OK, enter and you can see the wire number color is changed so it is now fixed now moving towards the other option which is swap i want to swap these two wire numbers which is one is fixed while the other is normal if i select this option it asks me to select the first wire or number now i want to select the second one you can see that these two wires are swapped together so in this way we can swap the wire numbers we can find and replace let's suppose uh, I want to find uh, A10 and want to change it to A5. So I will select uh, this option. I can even give other numbers like I want to find this one and uh, change it to A7. And in this dialog box, we can enter three numbers actually. So go and uh, active drawing. Yeah, I can either select this option to search or find my number in overall project or I can I, I also select this option to find the number in active drawing only. So you can see that these wire numbers are changed now. We can also hide the wire numbers or we can also unhide the wire number by clicking the wire only. The wire numbers will be unhide again. Similarly, we can uh, move the wire number move wire number where specify new wire number location where i want to uh, move this wire number so i want to move this wire number here i will select uh, here you can see that the wire number is moved there uh, i will only select the select the location of on the wire and that wire number will be placed there to flip this wire number i will select wire number to mirror it will be the mirror of across the wire so you can uh, click on this wire number and you will see that it will be flipped downward. Either I can flip upward or downward. Toggle wire number. Either move my wire number to inline or either I can move my wire number in place. If I want to select this wire number to toggle, you can see what will happen. Is the wire number is placed there, mean on the line, on the wire. If I again click on this wire number, you will see that the wire number is moved above the wire similarly i can toggle multiple times its size is uh, varying but uh, we will see what is the problem we can uh, even change the wire number size also how we can copy the wire number like uh, i will select this option and select wire for extra wire number select the wire at this place and you will see that the wire number is copied here you can see that that wire number is copied because this is actually the single wire. We can copy wire number in line and adjust in line wire gap. First, let's suppose copy wire number. I want to copy this wire number here. Specify insertion point. This is my insertion point. Now, what I want to do adjust in line wire level gap. I want to adjust the wire level gap. I will enter the S key. Enter this dialog box is about the wire gap. I select. 0 0.5 0 0.5 you can play with these you can select this and you can see that the wire gap is increased now similarly we can uh, give wire number leader this is also important because sometimes we need some wires to be highlighted in a way in our drawings so that it can be easily visible give the wire number leader if i select this option and uh, it shows me to select wire number for leader i want this wire number to be my leader now it uh, want to give a point let's suppose i want this point and this point to adjust my wire number here 
you can see that this wire number is now highlighted on my wire similarly we can adjust the wire level and uh, wire color and gauge labels the, the, we will work on these two like uh, i want to manually adjust uh, and manually enter a wire leader then what i will do i will select wire for label and now it it asks me to select leader start i want to select leader from here from this point and at that point you can see that my wire leader is now entered there but wire number is changed from this name so we can adjust or we can add it this wire number by double clicking on this wire and change its value to a5 a5 press escape and uh, yes save so wire number will be changed in this way so auto placement of wire leader then click on this option select object and you will see that how it assign wire leader to my wire remove these drawings and move towards the other properties like a wire here and a single wire here now i want to extend this wire do i will enter the extend command which is normal or to get command enter the wire you can see that that wire is extended it touch that wire but if you zoom your window these wires are touched together but the wire t is not present here then we can manually enter the wire t either we can insert the dot t or we can insert the angle t if i want to insert the dot t i will select this point which is the intersection point of the two wires and click enter okay you can see that my wire T is present here now. Let's insert a few wires and give wire numbers to these two. This is also a wire. So you can see that this is my wire number. If you click on the wire number and uh, right click your mouse you will see these are the different properties of wire number just like we have learnt about the wires or you can select any of the option from this menu we can edit the wire we can manually change the wire number and uh, similarly we can delete this wire number or either flip wire number toggle wire number in line so it is uh, placed here now now scoot the wire number just like we have learned about scoot option we can move our wire number anywhere we want to move it we can align wire number. we can move our wire number by selecting the wire the wire number leader as we have learned in that lecture that how we can assign wire leader to wires now moving towards the other drawing its wire number size are too big so i want to delete all the wire numbers and i want to copy this whole drawing I will move here and click on the clipboard can either i can uh, click ctrl plus c or copy so this whole drawing will be copied now i want to paste in this drawing i will go to clipboard and paste this drawing anywhere i want this drawing is too small for this template i want to adjust this drawing in this template i have to scale this object i will select all the drawing and uh, specify the base point move my mouse in this way to adjust the drawing in my template okay, now again give wire numbers to these wires click the drawing wide these wire numbers are according to the size of the drawing so it matches the drawing properties we have uh, different templates of different limits and different units and uh, different properties and the drawing that they, they affect actually the drawings we will see in the next lecture how we can adjust the wire number size now click on this three phase uh, in this dialog box you will see three main options prefix base or suffix if i select any of the prefix and you will see that this is actually my prefix i want to hold this prefix so 
uh, this will come in all the wire numbers but this will now never change if i want to increment the value you will see that it is incrementing now a b c d so if i want to give base value which is uh, one you will see that it is incrementing in this form one to three form so after prefix comes my base value and if i want to hold this value i can even hold this value suffix is like uh, the last digits of my wire number i can also increment or hold the values so i want to assign the values to these three phases select wire a1 l1 so this is my a1 l1 wire now b1 l1 l2 this is my b1 l2 and c1 l3 so in this way i can assign the draw i can assign the values to these three phase circuits now remove these uh, and see some other options i want to remove the prefix base value i don't want these values go to list you can check that in this list you will find different prefixes i we can select any of the option from this list similarly in uh, suffix we can also select any of the option let's suppose we have selected we select this option and click ok uvw now we want to draw and select wires on the basis of fence how we can select wires as a fence we want wire numbers you will have to either select this option or enter f i have to enter the fence first point I mean i will draw the fence in such a way that all the three wires cross that fence or that line so i will select here somewhere and move my cursor downward toward the third wire and uh, click anywhere i want so i want to assign the numbers in align proper alignment i will select this option and you will see that all the wire numbers are properly aligned uh, i want enter f and uh, draw a fence and you will see all the wire numbers are properly numbered i want to assign wire numbers to these component points i will also select this option three phase now i want to give wire numbers like l1 l2 or maybe um, p p value we want to increment the values p q r or we want to increment the values like l1 l1 l2 l3 we have three options maximum either we can select this option for three phase of wires we can also select this option for if our fourth wire is neutral or uh, we have four wire distribution or uh, wires and we can select even none option to specify wire numbers but uh, we can select multiple wires in this way so this option is also possible for this type of circuits i will select ok draw a fence across these wires all these wires and i will click enter and you will see that all these wires are properly aligned and numbered in a beautiful way so this is the powerful tools of autocad electrical which is uh, very easy to use now repeat that process wire numbering I want to again draw a fence but I want to draw a fence in this way in some angle you will see that the wire numbers are changed this way so the fence actually specify the location of the point where the wire number can be placed now I want to align all these wire numbers I will enter AE align I want to align all these numbers with this option AE align horizontal or vertical yes i want my alignment vertically select component to align with uh, this is my component in which i want to align all the other numbers now select the objects mean i have to select let's suppose i want to select these three numbers to align with this one i will click ok and you will see that all these wire numbers which i have selected are aligned with that number similarly i can even align all these numbers in this fashion a e align and uh, I want to select that option and now with which objects I want to enter I will select all these wires or all these wire numbers I can even select all these wire numbers using uh, this method and I will enter I have selected all these wire numbers which are not aligned I will enter click enter and you will see that all the wire numbers are properly aligned so in this way I can align wire numbers I can even align wire numbers there is also an option align select all the other objects to align with l7 and in this way i can align all the wire numbers uh, we can uh, flip the wire numbers we can move wire numbers or toggle wire numbers select wire number to toggle you can see that it is uh, placed there in the next lesson we will learn 
how we can resize the Y number in our drawings. As you can see that in this drawing, our Y numbers were too big for this drawing.